Okay, Tashilek. Tashilek, number two. All right, how are you today? Number two, Kande, US3. Very good. Yes, good energy, high energy. Number two, Nubai Abu US, da. Yes. Okay. Have you already received your worksheets for today? Number two, Kande, the Legacy again on Zoo, this sugar show, the and the same time you make him a Russian. Yes, now again, person is going to distribute it now. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, what we're doing is another example of how to use the current literature to teach. Just that the number of young young and Zoo cars were that nothing sangi, Tanda Piggy, Tirigi. So we'll get into this worksheet very soon, but before that, I wanted to ask if you had any questions that you wanted to follow up on from the last couple of days. We've been moving very fast. And the number so that chicken David Nimakashi in a long year, Lobs and Jabegi, and a Tiwada would indicate you and us, and Tiwa, you know, Tiwa Lingi in Song with the Tambo. Any questions? Lobs yeah. Table number four. Yes. And then after that, table number three. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Young woman, this is my son. I am a shame of Mike. Mike, shame of you. Hello, yes. Uh, first of all, good, uh, good morning, all day, and a good afternoon here. Yes, uh, uh last night, uh, Dr. Kazama taught lots about the dynamic balance. So in physics, it's talking too much about the too much not a lot of also central mass. Central mass. Uh -huh. Central mass. Central yeah. mass. Uh -huh. So uh, there is a the concept is similar or different? Center mass. Yes. Um, center of mass. Yeah. Center of mass. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So this like the center of gravity and the center of mass. Um, I think it's sometimes we use. Or should you, do you need to translate the question for the class? Uh, maybe yeah. yeah, maybe I will do that first. Okay. Ani chia lagi chiva de kare la na ani gyan lagi kazang anzu chik tonyam gyan nevo thanda chik kana song songa. Ani di song indi sambala thanda anzu ngokam gyan siri na no la ani pige kare se gore duze gyan ani chik teve gyan. Okay, uh, I I'll share my screen very quickly for uh, so center of mass. This is what we're talking about. Yes, yes, that one. Okay, so sometimes we use analogies or comparisons to try to get the, the idea across. So sometimes um, the analogy works because we understand the concept already and then it's easy to compare. So when we talk about receptors, for instance, we talk about lock and key. So 
many people have a, have a good understanding of how locks and keys work together. So it's easy to build from that example to describe how receptors and ligands work. So for center of mass in physics, there's a very clear mathematical way to calculate this. But if you understand that, even without the mathematical calculations, you sort of understand where it's most stable in the in, in an object. So I think um, Andy was really trying to communicate this concept of, of uh, the balance and the, the center of mass um, I don't think it was a strict physical example. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So I hope that helps. You know, sometimes you just use examples that, that can help make, the, make the, the lesson more tangible. And I think connecting it to other things you know. And Andy was here, but he went to go teach um, a review session with the nuns. So I can't ask him exactly, but he'll come back right before tea break, and I'll ask him. Ani tanda ani gen la Andrew Koran chena tanda de yu de yine ya tanda di poru de liya pige ani chola na bato ki pige cha jungi lezin ju sarwa del pa pe sons ani ya jig suja pasing ngen tu wala ni Koran di le yungure ani tu du ya Andrew Koran le chine tu ki ores. Very good. Any question? Yeah. Table three. Table three. Chwa tundo ni ya sarwa. Uh huh. Manzuti <laughs> Okay. So he has uh, two short questions. Yes. And the first one is uh, when we talk about the pain. So, for example, if you have uh, some sort of, you know, cut or the chopped finger yes. on the hand. So at that point, uh, does the pain actually occurs somewhere at the finger or pain is more sort of you know at the uh, occurring at the brain level mm. and that is the uh, that is the first question and then the second question is uh, related to the uh, lady who has uh, some sort of you know visual impair and uh, having some sort of hallucination mm-hmm. and uh, for that lady actually she can has uh, some sort of you know uh, visual you know, appearance and maybe that's some sort of hallucination. And uh, does that visual appearance is equal, uh, similar to the visual appearance that we uh, experience, you know, for the normal people, for the people with the normal eye, vision yes. perception? Okay, so I will answer the second question first because I want to take the first question and ask the room. Mm-hmm. So, 
Okay, so for visual hallucination, mm -hmm. Oliver Sacks started the video by saying we can see with the eye what we also see with our brain. And actually, the two questions are very similar because the first question is about if pain is at the location or mm -hmm. if in the brain. Pain, yes. So it's the same question. Yes, yes. Still, it's a number of two and you got the number of two and you got a number of two and you got a number of two and you got a number of two and you got So for the visual hallucination, Miss Rosalie, who was blind, mm -hmm. there is no stimulus. So the light hits the object and goes into her eye, but she cannot receive the image because her retina is damaged. Uh -huh. But for years, her brain has interpreted those signals because she always had vision until it broke down. And so her brain has received many images over its lifetime and it has been able to interpret many visual signals. Mm -hmm. So there is a set of um, neurons in her brain that can give her the perception of a face. So now that she's blind, there's no light, there's no stimulus, but the brain still has everything it needs to make this image. So if you stimulate those areas of her brain, it will generate the image. So it's a philosophical question and I would love to hear your opinion on it. Is that the same thing as seeing the image? So I would like to be able to think about it and to tell me if you think that's the same thing. It's a philosophical question, so you can argue about it. Is it the mm -hmm. same thing as uh -huh. seeing when there is an image that the light is communicating? So you want to give them to a few minutes to discuss? Two minutes to argue with each other and then each table has to tell me what they decide. 
Jesa Ruka Tony Tambo come and you to do chase, and the two chess have a jella, and the Ruka Susu get Tajo Karchiana, and a D and the men's or chase. And Jill Chivata, Jill Tang. They got a dress save with the dress save with me, you do stay. Get the dress save with you, Munda. I say. Daddy, she has several maybe so much. Ma, that's the wood, make daddy. Hello, yes, near daddy, check this. Oh. Are we ready? Uh, number two, Tajiki US. This way. Still. Still discussing. Actively, okay. Any information they need from me, or they have enough? Uh, I think, uh, well, numbers of that this one, yeah. I think, yeah, okay, yeah. You, uh, yeah, I think they have already uh, finished uh, their discussion, so you can uh, get the answer from them. Uh, and then, switch you can buy Tambo to Bambo Ruka, yeah, that they chick do, they chick do. Yeah, Tambo Ruka Dinda, and it did jail and a gilinda. Okay. Nazo Chiba Mares. Chiba Mares. So uh, the group number two, the table number two was saying it is not the same, different, it is different. Why? The image. Karchines. Nazo de Muchingo Yora. Muchina no Muchins Yora. She Muchin. Or Jambade and Gomandus. Actually, in Buddhism, uh, we talk about the, uh, the object, you know. Uh, uh, any perception, it has to have a, some sort of object in order to uh, have a you know, direct perception. So in the first case, uh, there is a no object, and the other one uh, has the object. So there is a, a sort of little bit you know, differences. Okay. But, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, if uh, if without having any kind of without you know, involvement of the eye perception, then uh, if we uh, accept some sort of you know uh, having a visual perception, then it will be some sort of uh, becoming some sort of you know mental object instead of the uh, object of the eye perception. Okay. okay. But the perception is the same, is it? What? The perception itself, the image that is created uh -huh. at the end is the same uh -huh. if you have the object or if you mentally create it. Yes, yes, yes. That the learning current degree is that you get on any media you make it get a machine watch it. Kanda number shy your was. The new niche where they might is that under figure and number shy your wa. Now you shy your wa. Diko Migiana Tema do get a mevache, Dichiba Remares, Chiba Mares, Cajin Chiba Mares, Chicara, 
但是我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好的。我们的人生是很好
嗯嗯。那去哪呢？这有个些，我们那去哪有？哎，忙起往个，往走的，这位同学，刚刚我们说说，那你忙一边，我这边呢，你你可别那个，你那么的那当过了，嗯哼。你这你那么的，你去哪
And every time she asks me that, I look at the weather and I tell her the temperature in Fahrenheit and in Celsius. And she gets annoyed with me because she says, I want to know how it feels. Is it cold? And I say to her every morning, I cannot decide that for you, mom. I know that it doesn't feel too cold to me, but it might feel very cold to you. Now she has dementia, so every day we're having the same conversation as if it's the first time. So my point with this story is that I can't use the word cold because I don't know what she thinks or what she feels about the word cold. But the objective part is the temperature in numbers. So if I tell her the number, she can start to build out an understanding of what that number feels like to her. So to come back to the question about dreams and hallucinations, when I say hallucination, I am not entirely certain if you are having the same interpretation of that meaning. So some people could say imagination, hallucination, or dream and mean the same thing. So we understand the neuro phenomenon, the neuroscientific phenomenon of a dream is different from the neuroscientific phenomenon of a hallucination. So yesterday we stopped viewing the video right before Oliver Sacks made some more connections about hallucinations. And he described being in the, in the MRI or the fMRI to look at and visualize what the brain is doing. So uh, if it's okay with you, uh, Geshla, I'll ask you to translate just two short sections that I think will give this, this some more examples. Yeah, it's okay. I'll okay. try my best. 
Um, okay, good. So let me play here. Charles Bonnet said 250 years ago, he wondered how, the, thinking of these hallucinations, how, as he put it, the theater of the mind could be generated by the machinery of the brain. Now, oh, 250 okay. years later, I think we're beginning to glimpse how this is done. Ani tanda di Morangi karisigore tanda ani chigin tuna yung de jorwa ani tuna yung de dzu te de ani chigi ani chuje gi ani suji dun che shenjo yimba yina ani yame na ani chigi leba rangi chuji dun che yungi yina se jin Morang na samlo na no da tinde jin ko yore se aso dobi jilabs. So this section, um, he was just asked if he has experienced any of the syndromes he writes about. Uh, and then, so, okay, can you, uh, have you have you have you yourself experienced any of the syndrome you write about? No. That the lady Sambala Dina so Karakeshi in Gure Sidi Sambala, any Tanda Korangi, any Tishan Jurkin, Dutch Tinde and Jibigi, any Chunala, and then Chunagi, you want in the Kan Chomas, also Chon Chomas, or a Dina or any Tishia in Gure. Well, um, uh, yeah, a lot of them, and actually, I'm a little visually impaired myself. I'm blind in one eye and not terribly good in the other. And I, I see the geometrical hallucinations, but... Uh, visually impaired myself, said the Sambala Koran, and a chick migi, Tonagotone, this chick Yanko, and Trujin showed in Jordan. Yes, I'm a blind in one eye and uh, terribly good in the other. That me, I chick the taste chick shower doce, and me chambati, and Nalaya, and the Missive Yahoo US. And I see the geometric hallucination, but the but stopped there. And in the uh, geometric, said the Sambala Monarch, the Koran, the Penachana, and a chick, Yibi Koba, the Javigi, and a chick, Karsu, and a Trunadi Yungu US, and a Tinet, and a Tel Samcha to USA, and a Koran, Korangu, Rangitolia. Okay. So this last section here, I just want you to see that he has had the FRMRI himself. I'll, I'll play it. He can. Um... Not there. Don't disturb me any more than my tinnitus, um, <laughs> which, which, which I ignore. Um, they occasionally interest me. I have many pictures of them in my notebooks. I've gone and had an fMRI myself to see how my visual cortex is ticking over. And, um, uh, and when I see all these hexagons and complex things, which I also have in visual migraine, I, I wonder whether everyone sees things like this and whether things like cave art or ornamental art may have been derived from them a bit. I've gone and had FIMR myself. Ani to see my visual cord is taking over. Ani prangi thanda di thongso lingshu di ani condition dugu yu meish jorwa. O di ta yaksi du dusini lo nende shele nyam da khabadi parlayam ba yins. When I see all these hexagon and complex things, the hexagon siddhu sambala ngazu chik ki kweba mangbu yunji tuur dundi yunji 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 which is which I have also have in visual in my migraine, uh, migraine. And the any Sambala and Koranda Tandanganzu any Chigi Tunagi Tandanganzu uh Tam Chig uh Cham Chig Nazado Jungda or Tidow Chadishadig Yores. I wonder whether everyone sees things like this and uh, whether things like cave art or uh om ornamental art. Okay, okay. And Narangi Sambalas and Mi Shamba Samagi and the Dinner of Tongu and us that then Penachasan and Dichik Trabugi and the Jose Sodo, Yamanachik Jenchagi and the Jose Sodo may have been uh, derived from them a bit. And mm -hmm. it art may have been derived from them a bit. That in it suit is Chikin, your Sodo Mendoz, that in it of Mother Shanger. So, what I wanted to communicate here, what I wanted you to see is that in the MRI, when they take mm -hmm. these pictures of his brain, having the visual hallucinations, it is the same as if he was seeing the object himself. 
Jadi, tanda di kalau yang resili sambala, ane tanda korang gigi, pike ane cik lole nyamda gigi par nanol, ane pike lebi gigi malal tanya ibu sambala, korang lan cina jiung dewi gigi, ane pike nampak tanda, ane korang gigi yang opus yang uzun pungu yebi gigi nampak ni di, ane pike lan nampak nanya jeli ajar wa, di cipta cian de digi yores, tanda tanda dodo di res. So that visual experience that he has looks the same. As if he were observing the object. Chesan di ladi sambala ani koran gi pige gi ani chicken tongsa da jibin chunan le shanjo te ani koran gi pige yu gi ngopo ji ngusum do tone ani digin re shanjo ke nanyi jorwa po di nini ani chikwa chijan cha digi yores. If he was having a dream, it would look a little bit different. Chesan di ladi sambala kezi chunan la nyilam si tamba yimba yina ani nyilam di Ani yang pegi musim tuan itu na, ane mandra wajib yang dia jadi. Kanda di na mandra wajib yang dia kira. Esen ni lama kita ulah. And then a comparison I can think of is if I just sent you the slides for a talk and you just looked at them, it would be different from if you got the slides with a video. Jadi, ane dah pernah cakap nak kandai cakap yang resi di sambala. Ane gelang korang kita kandai di tamsi dan jebi kita. Ane kandai ngan tu slide ni dia tanya orang. Di ane pata wata, ane yang di ane cik ni apa kandai ngan tu video jorwa. Di dalamnya ada tawa yang bayi na yang di ni ni baru le ya ko ane cik pun tu mandra wala lagi orang. Mandra wala lagi orang. So the main point here is that the the mind uses the same image in these hallucinations that it does. In actually seeing a real image. Jadi nanti lebih sama lah. Anu cuma yang bicara dengan zuki semgi is. Anu pegi anu nanya cuma des. Anu nganzuki anu je yuji ada yuji mune thongi. Kebala anu pegi semgi cahana cuma teda. Anu thana anu cipu cipu cuma cuma gua res. So I wanted to show another example from the motor system. This one is a little different because this is showing. Interruption of the signal, not the the spontaneous generation of the of the signal, but like interrupting it. Uh huh. I am number two. Then the pensu is number two. Then the ganzu. I need to go to the Malad and Jibe. Then I need pensu to show me. The pensu is the thing. Manda wada uchagi yore. Karji ni chagi yore. So the sambala. The I need to get daji. I need to get the ngogjen cheche. Da 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 jualan yang kau ibarat na da di ane dan godam cewen ane ane yang tanda res di ane cik lubu tu yang cik sawah jitu cedun cewen jorwa nani cedun cewen jorwa tenje maris dan godjen cewen ane yang tanda kan kesi res. Okay, so I'm going to play this just for a short while. Um, you may need to translate. I'm not sure, but I want you to just observe. Try the number. Um, okay, you see? Uh, uh, okay. The number of the number is and the number of the and the number of the and the try just uh, affecting your right hand? Mm -hmm. Would that be okay? Right, so I'm going to take the magnet now. Is it fully charged up again? It is. Okay, so I'll touch my nose a few times. Okay, let's see how accurate you are when I place it up here. Is that correct, Eric? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I stopped it because I wanted to ask you a question. Since he wants to measure movement in his right hand, why is he on the other side of the brain? Because the uh, the left hemisphere, uh, the brain uh, in the left hemisphere uh, regulates the uh, uh, right side of the body. Very good. Okay, so let's look again and see he's practicing this movement. He's just practicing his movement. Place it up here. Is that correct, Eric? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, oh, Riz, tell us what, I mean, tell, tell the audience what that feels like. So it's actually quite painless, uh, but I've, I've lost control of my, my muscles. I've lost control of my 
uh, my ability to to locate my hand in in, in space. It's we, a very very weird sensation. Can we do one last yeah. example? Can you um can you clap for us? Oh, I was going to stick the mic here. There we go. Ready? Start mm -hmm. clapping, please. Okay. Okay. So yesterday when Andy was teaching you about the action potential and reviewing about how the neuron signals travel from one to the other, if you have the instructions, the brain will give you a command and you will be able to do it. But when you interrupt the signal with this magnet, so this magnet scrambles the electrical signal. So even though he has the idea and the intention to move his hand, if the electricity is interfering, he's not able to accomplish the task. So there is a difference between the external environment and the internal environment. And the instructions to carry out motor or to have the pictures in our visual system, these have two parts, the external as the stimulus, as well as the internal machinery of what the brain does. Mm -hmm. So in neuroscience, the limiting factor is what the machinery of the brain can do. So the brain is necessary and sufficient in producing the image. Now that's still up to your debate whether or not you think it's the same thing, right? Because the image itself is what the brain has generated. I don't know if it's the same, but it's sufficient to generate the image even without an object. And I spent a lot of time on this question because it's a really, really important concept in neuroscience. So 
So now that we've talked about the visual hallucinations and we've talked about, and I showed you the video of the motor, I want to ask you at your tables to think about the example of the pain at the site versus the pain in the brain. So two minutes at your table, tell me if you think the pain is at the site or if the pain is in the brain. Okay, so, or some combination of the two. So each table should be prepared to discuss and tell us what difference there may be. Okay. Are we ready to discuss? Uh, number two, to do, they are still uh, discussing, maybe one more minute. Okay. This way. Okay, number two, this way. Okay, Tambudi, Ruka, Nawa, and it's simple swimming by DJ. Okay, Ruka, Chuba. So for from their group, actually the pain is wherever pain pain should be wherever you feel it. You know, if you feel the pain at the tip of your you know toe or uh, or the finger, then the pain should be there, and pain is there. But uh, the brain actually uh, understand where the pain is. Beside that, uh, the pain is wherever you feel it. Okay. And any yeah wait ruga chuba. Rugotu <laughs> So, so they are saying the pain uh, itself is actually at the uh, local site, uh, but uh, the uh, uh, recognitions or the perceiving of the pain is somewhere at the brain. The perception of the, you know, uh, uh, yes. recognizes it, it, it is somewhere at the brain, but uh, the pain itself is at the 
uh, at the uh, tip of the wherever you get the heart or in a chop up. And Very good. So in okay. in English, we uh -huh. have um, we have different words to describe those things. Um, oh. And when I say in English, I actually should I should clarify and say in science, right? so in neuroscience, we have different words because if I'm having a conversation with my family, my cousins, and and we're talking about pain, we're going to say pain at the site and also pain in the brain. So in neuroscience, we make the distinction between nociception, which is the, the signal that is happening at the site, and we make a distinction between that and the interpretation in the brain. So I'm going to quickly show you two more images and then I'll hear from the rest of the group. What's this? What's this? The difference between the finger and the brain. Right here, it's not yet a cake. It will be, uh -huh. it can be, but it's not a cake. So you have everything you need at the finger. If it's cut, you have everything you need to experience pain. But it's not yet pain until it's in the brain. Okay. Yes. So uh, I want to hear from the other tables what you think, because that's my way of thinking about the pain and the pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, so what he was saying is that um, uh, sometimes you know we can uh, sometimes the signal that we experience of you know pain uh, doesn't have to actually go through the all the way to the brain because you know there is a reflex, yes, uh, which actually. Uh, uh, only uh, which you know uh, regulates only from the you know spinal region and not all the way up to the brain and the, uh, and because of that it is not you know similar uh, the analogy that you uh, gave you know the ingredients in the cake uh, doesn't you know match in that uh, 
not the similar. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. beside that, uh, and and beside that, also if you say the when we have a, some sort of you know um, the wound or hurt on the finger, and if you say the pain is at the brain, then when we go to hospital, uh, then when we when we you know, have a consultation with the, the doctor. Uh, then uh, the doctor may get some sort of confused, you know, instead of, you know, giving the treatment at the finger, he may give you treatment at the brain. So, uh, so there could be a, some sort of confusion. There is no confusion. The best treatments for pain do not work at the site. They work in the brain. The best yes, pain uh, relievers stop you from interpreting the pain. Uh-huh. Tanapados, Nasu give me enjoy Yashu di Kawala Tangu Yores with Sambala, Lebala, Nasu Linguiorua, Dimenju Chejora, Minju Manche, the Leba Gitana Nazu Nasu Sojorua, or Diga Menju Tangu Yores, Sirin Sambala, I'm to two Yomares, two I cannot do the rest. Someone say they cannot do the Lama style. So at the level of the reflex, I'm glad you brought the reflex up. I was looking for my image. This one is not. It's not the reflex, um, I thought it was. Uh -huh. But at the level of the reflex, uh -huh. you don't feel it. You don't experience the pain. You just pull it back. Uh-huh. So I have, I didn't have my slides, but I have this right here. Uh -huh. So if you step on something, you immediately uh -huh. will pull your foot back, but that uh -huh. does not include how you experience it. It's just the reflex and the spinal cord controls that movement. Uh-huh. That pen and charge and the gangy pigil parish do a corangi pigil of dinner party. Pen and come back and make it chicken zin to some of them say a key or a di and a carichagi or is to do some bala and a chicken pigil dongui chawa imba kanshi jilea and a migigi, kambegi, and a chigi toa jorwa, nyongso jorwa or di any chick nazu in the carina di any toki or mares, dongui negabla. But you can simultaneously experience it as pain if some of the signals travel mm -hmm. up to the brain so you can interpret it. So the, the mechanism of um, anesthesia or painkillers, the best ones will work at the level of the brain's interpretation. It disconnects uh -huh. the physical stimulus from uh -huh. your interpretation, and then you do not feel pain. There are pain medications that they will give before they do eye surgery, for instance, and they put the drops in and you mm -hmm. don't feel everything they're doing. You feel everything they're doing. You can feel the pressure, but it doesn't feel like pain. You can feel every movement, but it isn't painful. Okay, we spent a lot of time on this and I think it's really good, but what I want you to be able to do is to find examples in neuroscience or in our slides in your textbooks that can demonstrate the differences. 
So when we talk about seeing, I want you to have a picture in your mind of something like this. Okay, so you should be able to think about the object and the way it enters into your visual system and the way it turns into a perception. So many of the questions that we have in neuroscience, we have an idea about how it works, and then we try to test it out and try to get evidence for the idea. And I want to model this for you, and the worksheet that we have to do today gives us an opportunity to do that. So we will spend all of the second session doing that, but we will start before break. So I want to make sure that is there another table that wanted to say something about any of the other questions that have gone or can we move into the worksheet? uh, so how about colors? Yes. Do you say is it in brand or is it in the sunlight? Okay. Did you translate for the class? Should <laughs> Okay, so this color example is very important because there are two things that are working um, with our interpretation of color. So, for instance, the clothing that the monks wear or monastics wear, that color, some people might say it's red. But that's a language issue because if I were to show them the color of your garb as well as um, this, this red, they would uh -huh. say they are different. So my husband and I have this argument all the time. I will say something is blue and he will think it is green. 
Ningada and Narangi, Sadani Borulia, Kaduina, Jana di, Anichi, Chova do Lady New Jeans, Nia Sambala, and a di Chingumbre, some Langumbo de Lavin Sambala, Quigi di Jangure, Slavian with those. But this, but we are talking about the same color. It's the same color, but he just calls it something different from what I call it. Cheza in Junganzo, Sunda Chigan, Kaji Shigi, or Sunda Shay, the Chigan Shigi, or the Yinaya, and the Korangi, and the Pigin Narangi, Lavia Tele Sable, and Korangi, and the Pigil Lapsaj, Lajor, and Bejor, and the Any Anti Shambaji, Sunda Mandawaji, study Lamin Guerres. However, there is another difference that we could think about, and that is not the naming of it, but more about what the light is communicating. Do you remember when this was making its way around the internet? Everybody was trying to decide if the dress was white and gold or blue and black. Chesa number so that the NH Gitado Ganlia and its over letting you need to be that pen a chash and a pig the energy send or cabuda and a dee and chick uh jung karzangumbuda now di can let's over letting you the number so any chingu yes. This was this something that people were seeing a few years ago? This was very popular. I don't know if it made it all the way to India. Dini Losumzi Kana and Pe Keta Chimbu Shivji Charis and Dini to do the Anti Jagal and Joy Megana Konaga Haku Mess. Many of them are not aware of it. Okay, so this was very popular because when this image just came out, a lot of people couldn't tell if the dress was white and gold or if it was blue and black. But the difference there was not about just the name. It wasn't about, I see the same color you see, but I'm calling it something else. <laughs> The way the light was bouncing off of the image when it was taken, the photograph was taken, gave the rods and cones a very different signal. So the color of the object doesn't change, but the way the light hits it and bounce back does change, and that can give you a very different interpretation. So there's a truth to the color in the object, but it doesn't mean anything until it gets into the brain. And our expectations and our past experiences have a lot of influence on what you end up making a decision about what color something is. So 
So one more image to show you. Uh, I will show you. If we focus on this part of the image, um, we all think these are strawberries. Is that correct? Yes. We think of strawberries and we know that they are red. But this image has no red pixels at all. There is no red in this image. So if you look at the image here, this is gray, this is green, but we still think it's red. Our brain's ability to conceive of color is influenced by our past experiences and integrating information from many different sites. So the actual strawberries have some quality that communicates a color. But the picture of the strawberries does not have all the same information that the strawberry itself has. But our brains are very good at making it fit with the expectation. So I don't know if that answers your question. I hope it confused you even more. Okay. Any other quick questions? Chiyas. <laughs> Uh-huh.ちき、やってるえたにゃれ、ドゥルタンティゲ、コトプチ。Uh-huh.ん、カルマカシゲリのコンサパクサルエチコトデトゴドワ。Uh-huh.ちんそ、コパクサルエにコデ
that even even after you know uh, the head is removed, uh, still the physical body of the uh, uh, body of the snake and then the, you know, the bird still you know uh, keep you know vibrating and uh, some sort of you know uh, jumping up and down. So since the brain is already removed, how still they do have a, this kind of you know uh, physiological you know uh, vibration and movement because there is no signal from the brain. Yes, that yes. is correct. Great. But but is. The first yes. part of the statement was not correct. Neuroscience yes. does not expect everything to come from the brain. Everything we think comes from the central nervous system, which includes the spinal cord. So movement can happen at the spinal cord without any involvement of the brain. Oh, yeah. Ah, there is. Yinayans, so in, uh, I think, year three of the curriculum, of the Etsy curriculum, we describe a cat walking on a treadmill and mm -hmm. the brain has been disconnected from the spinal cord. So the brain mm -hmm. is still there, but the signals mm -hmm. between the spinal cord and the brain cannot continue. And if you, you, the cat would walk forever because it's a reflex that just requires a contact. And as soon as it touches the treadmill, it will continue. It's just a pattern that the spinal cord controls. So yesterday when Andy asked you to stand on one leg and then watch what would happen as you try to keep your balance, that was an example of how the system, without you thinking about it, can regulate itself. Okay. So neuroscience does not say that the brain controls everything. Neuroscience thinks the nervous system controls everything. And sometimes that does not include the brain. So there's an expression in English that says, you know, you're so crazy, you're running around like a chicken without a head. And that is because when you cut the head of the chicken, the body can still do everything, but it doesn't have any goals. It doesn't have any direction. It just has the motor commands that allow it to still do all of the movements. Yes. Okay. So does that answer the question about movement and the and the central nervous system or the nervous system versus the brain? 
เจ้าดินอันขึ้นนั้นเล่นเทสุเมสอันนี้จริงเตอันนี้เอ่อเตวันสามารถลาบยินไปยินอะไรยามันนะอันนี้จริงเตวันสามารถลาตาอันนี้
So this is why I keep saying many of these things are hidden in the definition. Many of our understandings are hidden in the in the words that we use. Jesa, ane gyan kona ge chadu yandu labdi <laughs> achik nenga chkar chadu gyo re sudu sambala an dunzu te degi ane chige kodo ngoma di ane pige chigi ane chige kodo reshe jorwa da di na no la da sang di yores di na la yide yu sodo chadu gyo re sta kanda so tanye gito ne pige la kodo re da ngadu seni shay jorwa di sodo jire ta kanda ya ge chundu chigi we yes uh, one more question. I have one question uh, mm -hmm. do you have time to take yeah can the brain itself feel pain? No, there are no pain receptors in the brain. There is no machinery in the brain for pain. When they have brain surgery, people are wide awake. They put anesthesia on the skull, open it up, but once you're inside the brain, you can do anything and nobody feels any pain. It's like the eye can't see itself. It will only ever see an image of the eye. Okay. I am getting information that we will not take the photo now. We will take it just before our second session ends. So that means you are free to go for tea or you're free to go for your break. And when we come back, we will start on the worksheet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.